name is Pumpkin Bird, and you were just in Louisiana. Now you're in the Peach State. Welcome to the Queen Series, Chapter 3, Georgia Edition. How y'all doing today, man? As you know, man, it's Kyle Jacko checking in from ATL. Y'all see me. You know what I'm saying? I had to, had to get a little, little, little fashion sense from these queens. These queens are rocking out. I know y'all been sitting there lately, right? Hope y'all love this hat, man. Shouts out to um, one of the queens from the Queen Series, Chapter 3, that actually made this hat for me and told me I got to change my swag up a little bit. So, you know, call me now Uncle, Uncle Jacko Granddaddy. How about now? Uh, look, I want to tell you, this Queen series has been going so good, and I know everybody that's been watching this series, y'all waiting to see how many queens I'm going to have. I'm not going to say how many queens I have, but I am going to tell you this. Every queen is going to be a part of this Queen series you're going to learn from when it comes to life, when it comes to finance, when it comes to singing, when it comes to hair, whatever it is, you're going to learn so much stuff about these queens. So right now, y'all know I'm long with it. I have the honor I'm having somebody on here right now. I found her on IG. When I found her on IG, <laughs> I looked at everything about it. I was like, wow, I have the India Iron vibes. Like, she's just, she's that to me, that's what she is to me. So right now, I want all y'all to stand up. I want all y'all to take y'all hands and go like this. And I want y'all to welcome a new queen for chapter three. Mrs. Akira. Can you please go ahead and talk to the people? If I messed up your name, my bad. But hey, un unmute your microphone and talk to the people and tell people what you do, why are you a part of this Queen series, and just let people know about you. Like I said, once again, if I messed up your name, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Akira Ray. I'm an independent artist based in Chicago. That's where I was born and raised. Um, I come from a Jamaican family. So, you know, we're big on pride. We're very, very proud. Um, and ever since I left school, I took a break from school to focus on music. I've been full force with it. And I'm super proud of where I've come. I've grown my audience about 150,000, I would say 150,000 on TikTok, Instagram as well. I've been keeping up with my content as well as releasing music. I'm almost at 100,000 streams on a song that I've been promoting myself. Um, and yeah, it's been a journey so far. I've been teaching myself, teaching others, and we've been like growing together. Um, aside from that, I really want to just motivate and inspire people to, you know, chase after what they want to in this life because we don't know what tomorrow is and I don't want to live with regret and I don't want you to live with regret. So might as well just keep pushing and growing and building yourself. Okay. Now you see what I'm talking about? You get the whole NDI revive. You get all that from. <laughs> and what she didn't want to tell you was that we got to do a video. She was scared to do a video. She was scared. She was like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not good in front of you. I say, Queen, you're going to do an amazing job. You got everything in front of you. The only thing you got to do is just go ahead and do it. We went back and forth for like two or three times. Since so you was like, you know what? This day I'm going to do it. Let's go. And <laughs> you were one of the queens that made sure that, hey, what is the time, sir? What, um, you're taking too long. What, what is the time? And I'm like, all right, Queen, you got it. So, man, hey, it's an honor to have you on. It's an honor to be here. Queen, the next one is this right here. What when I what is your description of a strong queen? When I say that, what comes to your mind? How does I want you to speak from your heart, your mind? What does that sound like to you when I say that? A strong queen is resilient. Regardless of her circumstances, she makes things happen for herself, for the people around her. She inspires, she motivates, she challenges, and that's what makes her strong. No matter if she has all the money in the world or if she's broke as a joke, she's going to make stuff happen and you are going to be in awe of her presence. Okay. Look at you. thought she wasn't going to be good on Queen Series. <laughs> now, I want you to share a name of two queens. I know it's going to be hard for you to pick just two, but a queen that, the queens that made you who you are today. I want you to say their name, where they're from. It don't matter if they're here right now or not. But I want you to give a shout out to two queens in your life. Like I said, I know it's going to be hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, let me think. Definitely my mom. I can't say anything but good stuff about my mom because she's the reason I'm here physically, um, mentally, and spiritually. And my, name? my mom's name is, 
It's Sandria. <laughs> hey, what's your mom? What's your grandma name? <laughs> my grandma's name is Madge. Go ahead and tell about Madge. Let's, let, let's, let's, let's know <laughs> why your grandma is so important in your life. Go ahead. My grandma is so important in my life because she always reminds me of who I am. She can see through me, just like my mom. She can see through me. She knows when I'm upset. If I come to her, she'll be like, what's wrong? And I'm like, how do you know something's wrong? But she can just feel it. And she'll tell me like, hey, you know what? It doesn't matter what you're going through. Lift your head up. You know, believe that God has a, has more in store for you. And I'm like, you know what, Grandma? I needed to hear that today. And today's actually her birthday. So <laughs> um, that's kind of why she was also on my mind because you know, I love her and she's getting older, but she's still getting stronger. So I'm so blessed to have both of them in my life. Well, by the time the video come out, it's not gonna be a grandma's birthday anymore. It's coming out a little late. But hey, grandma Matt, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank I, you. I apologize that this video is not gonna be seen by you on your birthday, but hey, from Kyle Jacko and from my my five beautiful, amazing bad you know what kids we wish you a happy birthday you take care keep a smile on your face you raise an amazing granddaughter that's somewhat scared to get on these videos but we're gonna work on that so <laughs> okay so right now what i do is i do a moment of silence this moment of silence that i do i do the moment of silence because i feel like this right here no matter what we go through we cannot forget about the people that is still greatness to us even though they're not here right now we gotta always do that so we're going to do a moment of silence. And after we do a moment of silence, then, hey, guess what? I got a surprise for you. So let's go ahead and do this moment of silence right quick. Oh, man. I tell you, these moments of silence, they get, they get kind of hard for me sometimes because you know, my uncle, my stepdad, my brother, cousin, everybody. I love them so much. And I tell people so many times that the reason I'm strong as I am right now is because I got a battery in my back. And the battery in my back is has one battery slot for Uncle Kato, one battery slot for my cousin Mion, one battery slot for my brother Trey, one battery slot for my, for my uncle Eddie Ray Brown. And these right here, that's how you get how strong I am. I put all them batteries in my back and I take off the glory of God. So I want to tell y'all so Everything y'all do, y'all put long live in front of y'all family members' name because you're going to carry on their legacy. You're going to be great. You're going to do inspiring things, but you got to carry on. So, how you doing? You good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Just listening. Okay. Hey, man, um, I got something that I call the word. The wordplay is something I call I call the wordplay because you don't know what I'm gonna say, but I want to do whatever whatever word place I think I say. I want it to come from your heart and from your mind. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna give you three words. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, man. Let's start the wordplay, everybody. Come on. So I want you to paint a picture for somebody that had never been to Chicago. Why should they go to Chicago? What's in Chicago, and what's great about Chicago? Okay, okay. For someone who's never been to Chicago, I would say from the landscape to the culture and the food, not to mention the people, we're welcoming. We have a lot of space. As much as a city we are and everybody's you know, in one area, it is spacious enough for you to be able to walk on the sidewalk and not bump into the person next to you. I love it because as much as people are in a rush, you don't feel that city vibe. You don't get that New York, that, that hard, that cold we're still warm and welcoming. As much as we have the cold and the bitter cold and our, our water brings that wind chill, when the summer comes, we're still out there just the same. Like we are in the winter and we are in the summer. I would say our people are built different. As much as we go through, we still stand together and we are one. We have our own flag. So I would say if you haven't visited Chicago, you're missing out. Uh -huh. You have your own flag? Yeah, we do. Okay. What about y'all <laughs> football team? My bad, y'all football team. <laughs> Um, oh, we're okay. not going to talk about that. <laughs> the next one, when I say this word right here, I want you to go in depth with it. Crown. What does a crown mean to you? Mm, crown. I see a crown as like a halo. Sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't, but it's always there. And if, even when you feel like you've dropped your crown, it is always there. You could be at the lowest of your lows, 
but it is always there. Maybe you have to straighten it. Maybe you have to fix it. Like you clean your glasses. It is always there. And it's there to remind you that you are royalty. Nobody can take that from you because you're born with it. Hey, I'm like, hey, just because you can see, don't, don't bring my glasses. <laughs> I got glasses too. <laughs> I got glasses too. <laughs> okay. When you hear this right here, I want you to really go in detail with it. When you hear Queen Series Chapter 3, what goes in your mind? Queen Series Chapter 3. I hear it. The first thing that came to me was a new beginning, a reckoning. Because as much as you had the first and the second series, that was that was paving the way for this series. That was laying the foundation. And you've grown the audience. You've developed the connections and the network. And now here we are with the third series coming back better than ever with people awaiting this series. I feel like it's a new reckoning for people to listen up and say, hey, we not only have one and two for y'all. We have we're bringing three. We're bringing it back again. What what type of series comes back a third time? It must be real, real good. Okay, so this is something special, and I feel it. I'm glad to be a part of it. I'm honored. So that's what I think of when you say Queen Series three. Okay. <laughs> hey, you have done good on the word. Like, do you want to know what you want? <laughs> what did I win? You want a dollar bag of popcorn. Yes, you no did. way. <laughs> you won a dollar bag of popcorn and you won no, you, you didn't win this one. <laughs> you won the popcorn. I was going to say, I need a new one. <laughs> you, won the, you, won, you won the popcorn and whenever you get married, I want to sing at your wedding. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll be ready for it because that is not going to happen. So, Okay. <laughs> See, that's why I can't be playing on this Queen series, baby. I'll be having, I'll be having so much fun doing the Queen series and the King series. I just love doing it because I just feel like this right here. Whenever y'all queens talk, y'all gonna manifest people's minds. Y'all gonna get people thinking and discover new talents that they didn't think they had before. That's why I love doing this, and it's so through the videos. So, ma'am, you know, everything in life is about history. Like you just said earlier about the chapter two, chapter one, everything like that. What queen on the Queen series, chapter two, you picked out and you looked at them like, you know, I would love to meet this woman. I want you to say their name and the series number they was in and let people know why they should go check out their video. I would say Latanya Jackson. I think she was from Texas. I don't know. Well, if it was no, 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 excuse me. Port Arthur, Texas. That's what she Port, said. Port, Port Arthur, Arthur, Texas. Port Arthur, Miss Port Arthur, Texas. Port Arthur, Texas. <laughs> Port Arthur, Texas. Mrs. Latanya Jackson. She had a spunk to her. And I could just tell she's strong. Like, just from the first couple of words she was giving off, I was like, okay. If I needed a strong auntie, I would call her up. I would call her up for sure. And then she brought up Nicki Minaj, and she was like, moment for life. And I was like, this is why I knew. I knew you were special. But just from her demeanor, the way she was carrying herself and spitting that knowledge, I... I really felt like, I, I don't know, I felt like I started to know her through, you know, the 10, 15 minutes that she was talking and it really resonated with me. So I would say if there was one video to watch, it would definitely be in chapter two, Queen Series chapter two, Miss Latanya Jackson. It was, the energy was so nice. The energy was so nice. It was chill and she was just giving her all, you know, she was giving it all. Her realness was showing and I, I value realness, natural authenticity is what I'm all about. I tell you this, though, when nobody knows, and I don't think she even knows it, that she, matter of fact, she's chapter two, child, um, she's the first one to come up. But out of every video I did, that was the only video where I felt like I had to match her in. Like, <laughs> and I, don't, I don't know if you can see it through the video, but I was like, really? <laughs> and I had, to match, right. I had to match her energy, and I was just like, all right, cool. You want to play? <laughs> let's play. Look, let's play. Let's play. Let's go. and one minute it was like you was it was in a boxing match. And we <laughs> Whose video is this? And, but it felt good. I was, I was boxing with her, and then I put my hand on my head. She was like, "I'm still the same height as you. What you gonna do?" <laughs> I like, you know what? Talk about the video, man. You good? <laughs> so, Latanya Jackson, hey, shouts out to you. Love you, sis. You done a very amazing job. Hey man, Queen looking at you all the time. All you gotta do is keep on being who you are. So shout out to her. Yes, man. Okay. What would you like Queens 
the takeaway from your video of that little kids watch, let's say they're a six year old, an eight year old, a 10 year old, what would you like them to take away from your video? I would say that's actually like that actually is actually emotional for me because I would say that when I was younger, I wanted to be this and that. I wanted to be a pediatrician. I wanted to be a fashion designer. I wanted to be a singer. And I looked on the TV screen and I saw all this and I was like, wow, I want to be like her. I want to be like her. But through the traditional sense, you know, you're taught to go to school and do this and do that, not really chase what you want. You know, if you if you want to be a billionaire, they're not going to teach you how to do that in school. You have to go about on your own and find people who are going to groom you and train you and give you that education to be successful. So for me, I said, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. I'm doing all this, but I'm not I'm not proud of what I'm doing. I'm not happy with this. I want to chase that dream. And when I was looking at the TV screen as a, a 10 year old and saying, I want to be this, I'm going to do that. So I want people who are watching this to not just be like, oh, well, I can't be like that. No, you can. The only thing that's stopping you is you. And I realized that myself. I had to go through it and figure out, okay, yeah, this is for me just to get to where I am now. Okay. I, I love it. Like, hey, you're doing a good job. Like, I thought I was going to stop you for a minute, but you're doing a good job. <laughs> Thank you. And you know, for what reason, for some reason, I'm, I'm looking at myself right now. I feel like jeepers, creepers, but <laughs> those creepers. Because you know the hat and everything. Like, I feel like the first, I feel like I'm like, you're in here. You don't got to take over a bus right now. <laughs> hey, get with everybody. Look, look at this. See, y'all thought I was playing. Y'all thought I would. I need to bring a little bit closer. Thank you. Hey, guess what? Guess what? What? Now it is time for the motivational prayer. <laughs> hey, I told y'all not once, not twice, not three times. Hey, these motivational prayers ain't going away. Like, your mama ain't going to never leave your daddy. Watch what I tell you. These motivational prayers are so strong because I know one thing about life. If I pray for you, she pray for you, they pray for you, the dog pray for you, the kid pray for you. Guess what's going to happen? You're going to take off. You're going to do amazing things. But you got to put God first in everything you do. So right now, since you've been so strong, you've been doing everything you're doing to the best of your abilities, queen. You have to go first with the motivation of prayer. We don't need you to give a long Thanksgiving prayer. You can make a short, you can make a short little prayer, and we're good to go. And after you say amen, I'm going to go, and then we're going to take over, and we're going to get ready for the rest of the interview, okay? Which I don't know. She got somewhere to go. So I got to make sure I, I, I have her time and everything you can stress. Like I said, we don't need a Thanksgiving prayer. We just need you to just give a short prayer. So after you say amen, I'm going to go. So everybody, listen to her and watch me touch my hats. <laughs> Dear God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for bringing two beautiful souls together to unite in this Queen series, chapter three. We are so blessed to have the opportunity to come together to share what makes us us, to share what makes us human, to share what makes us grow and develop. We are so honored to just share our knowledge and to have these beautiful people take notes and go forth and conquer. We are so honored to be standing in front of your presence, to be present and to just share our love, our light for you and one another. And with that, I will close. I say amen. Guys, I come to you right now, God, I want to say thank you for giving me the voice of power. Thank you for giving me the voice of reason. But God, thank you for all these amazing queens that came from the chapter two, chapter one, chapter three, and the next queens on for next year, God. I hope this faith right here makes them understand how important it is to be a queen, how important it is to be a woman of God, how important it is to just keep on moving strong in your life. Guys, I want to say thank you for everybody that's a part of this. Thank you for the people that couldn't be a part of this. Thank you for just everybody that just took the chance out to watch one of these Queen Series videos. Amen. Amen. Okay, then. Jeepers. Creepers. <laughs> Okay, you don't, you don't get a Jeepers Creepers vibe. From there, from there. Okay. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> so look, what we're gonna do right now is I want you to give everybody just your Instagram because everything else, everybody's gonna be in the description below. So I want you to give everybody and know how they can reach out to you. Oh man, I do. You want to reach out to? I'm telling you, you are so focused with our life right now. You probably won't even get past the email. I promise. You. <laughs> Really focus right now. So, give me your Instagram, and then everything else will be in the description below. Go ahead. My Instagram is A K I R A R A E E. Akira Ray with two E's at the end. Okay, cool. Even though you see it with just one E, it's two E's. Yeah, yes. 
Okay, so now it's time for this right here. I think in life, a lot of times, once you get around people, one thing about women, y'all have, have power. You can tell a man right now to go build you a boat. The man probably don't know anything about building a boat. <laughs> you had that smile, you had that hair, you have all your teeth. Good job, you have all your teeth. Good job, you have all your teeth. You tell a man to go do something, and a man will do it just because who you are. So right now, I want you to give all the men in the world right now a 2021 positive motivational message. And now you give it to them, hey, ladies, hey, Jack going to give you a motivational message too, okay? Don't you worry about it. I might even take off my glasses. You never know. I'm not. So go ahead and give these men a positive message for 2021. Okay. I would say chase challenges and invite opportunity. All 2021. Keep on. I need more than that. <laughs> you know, like, um, Mother's Day, they have homeless for Mother's Day. Oh. You don't got this list. So yeah, I need to go and get, gotta go more. Okay. Chase challenges, invite opportunity. Don't be afraid to get emotional. I feel like a lot of men, I feel like a lot of men shy away from being emotional. And that, why do you think women have such power? Because they're in tune with their emotion. When I meet a man who has strong emotional intelligence, they're able to, you know, articulate and understand and portray those emotions without getting too sappy. Like that, that makes that makes a man, I would say, like, don't be afraid to get emotional because a lot of the times you have stuff pent up that you don't release, you have to go to a therapist for it. But if you start learning how to deal with it and working through it, things will be a lot better. Um, I would say, show the queen some more love. <laughs> show the queen some love, you know? And, and in general, show people love because you never know who needs it. Some people could be having a bad day. Some people could be having a great day, but show love all throughout together because that love will come back to you tenfold. Um, uh, and do unto others what you would like to receive for yourself. That's what I would say. That's what I go by. Like that golden rule. You know, when you give out that good energy, it will come back. All right. Hey, you want to let y'all know, so y'all want to talk to her, y'all got to cry like Trey Songz. <laughs> to all my queens out there in the world, I want to tell you so. Listen here, boo-boo. Listen here. Let me tell you. The men you meet, they might not look at you as a queen. The men you meet might tell you that you need to lose weight. The men you meet might tell you at the end of the day, what's wrong with you? I need you to understand this. Guess what? God doesn't make mistakes. God doesn't. God doesn't make it. So if any man tells you that you're not great, you're not amazing, you need to tell them, but God. Tell them that. Like, like I just said, you, know what they say? You, you need to lose the weight, but God. You got to put your hand up when you say it too. You know, but God. <laughs> just like that. When these men tell you at the end of the day, you are not the queen that you are, you tell them, but God. Give me that hand right there. And when they tell you, you know what, you need to go to teeth fix this, that, and other, guess what? You need to go get your teeth fixed. I'm sorry. That's, that's oh, no. Thank you, dog. When you want to go outside of your two piece and they say, Why you got that on? So, what God? Just like that. Make sure. I feel like Dirk Dodds right now. But anyway, <laughs> you got to make sure that you enjoy your life. Queen, this is your life. Mm -hmm. This is not for them. This is yours. Nobody mm -hmm. can turn down your sunshine. Once again, nobody can turn down your sunshine. You are somebody that's going to be brokenly made. God has you. No man tells you what you're going to be. Guess what? My name is Kyle Jacko. No woman can tell me that I'm not handsome. No woman can tell me I'm not a motivation speaker. Nobody can tell me to take off my hat because guess what? I'm going to keep my hat on. I'll be wearing my hat in the hood. I want somebody to try to test my hat. I promise the guy I'll give him another motivational message. But guess what? You are a queen. You rock your crown no matter what. Whatever you want to put on, you go ahead and put it on. Queen, you are beautiful. You are beautifully made. You are great. That's why your name is Queen. Spell it out. Every time you get ready to go outside your house, you say Q, U, E, E, N, A. You are great. You are amazingly great. You do amazing things. Put God first and to God's self be true. Ma'am, right now, I need your help. I'm going to say something. You got to pull your camera down a little bit because you got to hit on your chest every time I say it. You ready? Okay. Now, when I say it, you're going to have to say you got to hit on your chest. I got to say it and hit on my chest. 
And I know you're a little small, so don't hit your chest too much. We don't want you to break the bones, okay? You ready? I'm ready. Pull my hat back. Live strong. Live strong. Live like a queen. Live like a queen. Live with glory and a smile. Live with glory and a smile. Hey, y'all. Uh, my name is Kyle Jacko. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you follow on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Anywhere you see her name at, I'm telling you right now, this queen right here, like all the rest of these queens, you got to remember their name. When you say their name, it come with greatness. Hey, my name is Kyle Jacko. Thank y'all one more time. Remember, keep a smile on your face no matter what. Peace.